the rock man back bench press before and after vacation tng is before the pause is after because you gotta work on that control 10 days in between direct comparison I've got a lot of bench videos from the last couple months to drop, and this is how we're going to start it out. Anybody who's done a lot of these types of direct comparisons in their training knows consistency is important to being able to make these comparisons. A lot of times tracking your progress accurately is going to be done in execution and not in repetitions. If you're actually using your film to improve your lifting technique, consistency, track your training accurately, then what you know is what you're going to see right here. And there's really nothing I need to say about it. You can either see the glitches in the matrix or you're a battery plugged into it. This is the first in a series of videos I've got to drop from progression on the bench press in the last eight weeks or so. 130, two sets of 10 in this one. No back off work and I didn't record the warm up triple. But this was the first workout I had taken something I heard on Laird Ross's channel just in the brief time that I had to browse YouTube before I went to do a workout and I had been looking for something different. So two sets of 10 it was. This is just my log. It's not an instructional. This is where it starts. You gotta go over, check out Laird Ross channel and his dope ass garage gym. I watch all you guys videos. I try to take a little bit of something from everyone. I just told what's your max that final pause he does to assert dominance before the re-rack. It has become a part of every one of my good sets. It's clean and it just feels good to crank against the bar before you slam it back in the rack. Dean going hard on the belt lists made me realize that I just don't really need it as much as I thought I did and actually sometimes I like it better without the fucking belt. But it doesn't have to be operational. Sober powerlifting is kicking my ass in the bench press and the deadlift Probably about to be the squat, because the man is on fire. It's also his channel that motivated me to find a spot for the slingshot benching in my training, and definitely the bench daddy. That thing came in real clutch for me during a difficult part of my training, and the wrist wraps I like better than gangster wraps. So I guess I'll stop talking now since the video's over, and I'll catch you guys on the next upload. Peace.